Okay, after about a week of solid working, we have finished. It's rendering. <laughs> Nothing left to be said. <laughs> <laughs> so I've only filmed one thing today. Tomorrow I'm gonna go home, go through all of my old footage, and I'm gonna make a little retrospective video thing. So here we go. Okay, so I was about to take a shower and I started shaving and I got it really close. And I was like, you know what? I haven't shaved all of my facial hair off in like two years. Let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> so um, this is what has happened. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna grow it back. But let's take a look at some footage from when I used to look like this and with short hair, which was the majority of my life. Um, actually, I'm gonna take a shower first, then we're gonna do that. Okay, also I apologize if my appearance is disturbing. It is a little disturbing for me. I think first of all, Okay, first of all, I want to show this. This is a performance I did at the local children's museum. Apparently Indianapolis has like this famous one. But I was playing the marimba, which I played for many years. Okay, so this was actually recorded from a TV screen. Because I think they didn't allow cameras in there or something. But this is my dad recording this. I might have messed up there, actually. <laughs> wow, I totally forgot I used to be able to play this. And it's funny because this actually stuck with me for a long time after I had never played it again. To where I can still play like the opening five bars of this. So watching this again, at the time I couldn't understand why I didn't win. I think I got like a second place or something, I don't remember. But the judges, they all said the same thing. It was like, you play great, but you don't have any showmanship. And the worst part about it was, is that I had the showmanship. I was just too embarrassed to do it for some reason. When you see the end of the video, that, hold on, let's keep watching. Rush that a little bit. <laughs> oh man, it's so tragic, dude. If I played this today, oh my god, I would kill it. Okay, watch this, watch this. <laughs> Just had no clue how to act in front of a crowd. Just Literally didn't look at the audience, didn't do anything, just bowed and then left. Oh, there's not too much to say about that. That's fairly self-explanatory. Oh man, still disappointing though. Still disappointing. I wish I could have just figured it out sooner. I don't want to sound like that, the uncle from Napoleon Dynamite. The coach would have put me in fourth quarter. We'd have been state champions, no doubt. But, oh, what? Like, if I saw a kid doing that now, I would instruct him. I'd be like, oh, I, I got you, dog. On this tape, there's a performance that I did at the banquet where it didn't matter. So obviously I was more relaxed. My suit could have fit better. By the way, the piano player was my drum teacher's wife, who I later took piano lessons from my senior year of high school. Okay, look, you looked up. Didn't smile, but at least acknowledge the presence of my piano player, the audience. Oh. I don't know if this is the right way to think, but oftentimes looking at old videos is painful for me. Like I know I should just be like, okay, that was what I was at that time. That is the way I behaved. 
my god and also that brings up a point that it's not the it's not what you do it's how you do it because anybody can play the right notes it's there's something intangible where you present it in a way that it makes it exciting because that's me and i was bored to death watching that <laughs> I could show you the video that me, Brian, and Andrew did. I'll save that for another time. Yo, I don't even know what's on this tape. Okay, I will pull this one out. This is me, Brian, and Andrew at Torch Lake, which is in Michigan. I'm not even sure I can show you guys most of what's on. I'm not even sure I can show you guys what's on most of this tape, but we're gonna take a look and see if there's anything I can actually show you. If I would like to maintain any shred of respect that you have for me, that is why I can't show you most of what's on here. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay, so far it's just Smash Brothers. This is what you had to do before capture cards became widespread. You would just film your TV. Okay, now we switch to Mario Kart, apparently. Okay, oh, hey now. We should take a video of me taking <laughs> Okay. I don't remember saying the things that I just said, and I've already lost all respect for my past self. Sure you would. Once it washed up shore and then it'd be bad. Okay, well, an another thing that comes to mind is that this is unwatchable. I don't know why we have bothered to record because it's just, the ground mostly. I watch the stairs through the camera. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to fast forward this. This is unwatchable. What are you doing? It's G Man. Get him. <laughs> I think it stopped recording when I took that picture. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, well, uh, apologies that this is all that today's vlog was. Tomorrow's vlog is unfortunately going to be very similar. Although, I may just go on like an adventure tomorrow and then take that and make that technically today's vlog, but that's tomorrow. Anyway, I had work to do, so I got the work done instead of doing that. I actually prioritized the correct thing. I apologize, that means that you guys will suffer. But, um, well, suffer is way too strong of a word. Thank you for watching that vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow. because we're making movies today, man. Like, small video. Wait, I want to see that video, too.